Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello to you new people too. Just a quick note before we begin, I'm sure you're all aware of how YouTube has changed things, so you may not be getting notifications that my videos are live. So if you click on the little bell down below, it'll send you notifications whenever I upload a video. Today I'm bringing you the top 10 best products of 2016. Number one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Now I have purchased just about every single palette that Anastasia has put out. This is my favorite because I really like the red shades and Buon Fresco, which is like this dusty pinky mauve type color. And basically because I got this palette, I realized how much I love that color and that has been like my transition color almost all year. Or I've, I've used shades like that if I haven't been using that color. I even bought this in a single just so I could have it in an easy to go travel palette. But I feel like this is a really nice palette. The only thing I would have done differently was probably um, to add like a deeper shade of like a deeper cooler brown and there are two colors in here that are kind of similar that I would have like added more variation between those two so overall I was really happy with the palette because it just I don't know it was nice to see a neutral palette that was a boring a neutral palette that incorporated red colors that I like you know had a little bit of pink so I don't know I just thought it was nice different compared to everything else Number two would be the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in Dawn. Yes, this foundation is a little bit dark, darker than I normally wear, so sometimes if I wear it, I have to be really careful how I put it on because it'll match my face, but then my face looks darker than my neck and the rest of my body, which I don't like. That's why I match my foundation to my neck and my chest. But for something that's just easy to throw on and go if I'm gonna be running errands, this is it because it applies so easily. It doesn't dry out my dry skin and it doesn't emphasize any fine lines. So for a powder foundation, I think it's actually pretty awesome. It covers up my rosacea, which is something I always want. So yeah, I actually think this is pretty great. I wish it came in a paler shade. Number three is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream. I know everybody's always talking about, oh, Tarte Shape Tape this, Tarte Shape Tape that. Well, to me, Tarte Shape Tape is stinky and smells like bug spray. However, the Kat Von D concealer, this stuff is awesome. It doesn't stink like bug spray and it works really well. I have I have four shades, but these are the three shades that I, I use the most. White Out is great because you can use it to add to any foundation to make it lighter, to be a better match for your skin tone if you're pale like me and everything is usually too dark. I like to use the shade L1 around my face to brighten and then I use L3 around my face um, for more depth. Basically what I've been doing is trying to apply concealer and foundation the way Mickey's been teaching me. So I've been using these two shades a lot. But this stuff is so great. I feel like no matter what foundation I put on, I can either put this under my foundation or on top of my foundation and blend it out and it's not gonna get cakey. I've even put it on top of powder products and haven't had a problem with getting cakey. So it really impresses me. And it doesn't like settle into the fine lines under my eyes. It doesn't like, I don't know. It, I'm sitting here looking in the mirror. I put my makeup on about an hour ago. It does increase. I just. I love it, I think it's pretty awesome. Number four, the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. You know I love this palette. I've done several tutorials with this palette on my blog and on my YouTube channel. I just, I think it's beautiful. I keep telling people if you really, really want an awesome palette for hooded eyes, this is the palette you need to get because it has all of these great mattes and then you have some fun shimmer shades for the lid. I mean, just, ugh. I'll put a link to my recent tutorial I did. I did like a teal cat eye using Velour and Moss and Nebula and Watt Ignite and just, oh, it's beautiful. I love it so much. And just the colors are great. And, you know, I even like make my own transition color with it by mixing stone with suede to get like a light beige gray a grayish color so yeah love this palette it's great i feel sorry for people who missed out on it who wanted it because it is so so good it is my pick for the number one best palette of the year number four on my list are the makeup geek highlighters i love these uh the three shades that i i particularly love are moon phase celestial and glitz i have them reviewed on my blog i will put a link in the description box below so you can check that out i am wearing this color celestial on my cheeks today I just happen to think it's awesome. I love duochrome colors for pale skin. I feel like they're the most flattering sort of colors that you can wear because you need something that has like, that has like a white base if you're pale so that it'll actually show up in your skin tone. If you put on a highlighter and it's like a golden beige and it just it isn't lighter than your skin, it's not gonna do anything for you. It's just not gonna be good. So yeah, this is awesome because it's the right color for me and I love the texture, I love the finish, and I love this, I, I don't know, I feel like I look gorgeous and glowy with it on. It's so awesome. I'm sure number six comes as no surprise. It's the Urban Decay Pro brushes. I invested my money in these brushes this summer and bought 
um, almost all of the eye brushes and then Urban Decay later sent me some of the other brushes to um, check out but I love them I've been using them non-stop they, they are the main eyeshadow brushes that I use the other brushes that I use are like um, Sigma brushes to supplement them but I love these I think that they look really just I don't know they, I think they look really nice I like the gun metal handle and it's kind of textured and the bristles are soft and they're vegan and just I don't know this I, I think they're wonderfully designed um, I will put a link to my video where I review the eyeshadow brushes so you can check those out. The Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dusts. I love these for layering. These are basically like a companion product. You put them on top of other products. So you would put this on top of like eyeshadow or on top of eyeliner and it looks great. I've even tried a couple of these on the lips with Mickey if you watched my um, holiday lip tutorial. But I love these products and I feel like nobody, no, I feel like nobody talks about them except for me. Nobody likes them except for me, but they're really great for just adding extra sparkle and shine and dimension to your looks. So yeah, they're beautiful. Number eight are the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I love these, these are my go-to lipsticks. I will put a link to my top 11 must-have Urban Decay Vice lipstick because it can be hard to narrow them down. There are over like a hundred shades. All of the ones I have are gorgeous. I love them. Uh, this is Violet. This is like my My Lips But Better sort of pinky, dusty, mauve nude type shade. So yeah, love it. If you're looking for an ultra comfortable lipstick formula, this is it. Number nine is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. This is another hooded eye girl friendly palette. It is great for hooded eyes because it is all matte. I love the fact that you have some cooler tones and warm, warm tones mixed together in the palette. You do have a couple shades that I think are really close to each other and I would have liked to have seen a lighter gray as opposed to two like really really close sort of beigey, light, light beigey brown shades, but overall pretty happy with this palette. And number 10 is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I see this as a companion palette and I love it because again you have the beautiful moon dust eyeshadows which are great for layering on top of other colors. For these colors to really work, I think that's how, um, I think the best way to apply them is on top of like a colored base. So either an eyeshadow or an eyeliner or a pencil, just something for them to stick to. But they add like such awesome dimension because they have all of the color shifting properties. And I just, I think they're beautiful. And again, I feel like nobody talks about them. Nobody loves them but me, but I'm sure there are other people out there who love them. It's not just me. I did have two honorable mentions. And the first one would be the Urban Decay After Dark palette just because I love this packaging. It is so gorgeous. This purple rainbow, I really, really love it. I do think the colors inside are pretty nice. The other palette I wanted to talk about is the Gwen Stefani blush palette. So I love Urban Decay blushes. They are my go-to blushes. They're the blushes that I wear pretty much every day. So I really liked being able to get a blush palette of Urban Decay blushes. So I hope that they will put out another blush palette. So that's the only reason I wanted to talk about it because I, I love it for that reason. So anyway, those are my top 10 products of 2016 with my honorable mentions. What are your favorite products of 2016? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.